Here's a surprising chart for you. Hi, it's Charlie giving today's video. So this itself isn't surprising yet. What I'm about to show you may well be. So let's just look, take this chart first of all. I've got a chart of the euro dollar currency pair, the largest, the world's largest currency pair here. So you can just see the, the price action. This is the daily time frame coming into this year. Uh, the euro um, end of last year was having a really good run to the upside and then has had a pull back through uh, through January into February and the mount at the moment is just bouncing over the last what two to three weeks uh, just to put that into some form of context here you can now um, see that the euro since September of 2022 has sort of has certainly had a good run to the upside but got a little bit on the choppy side overall there. So you can see that overall, yeah, uh, since 23, it's been more range bound here as a currency pair, but that's on a you know zoomed out uh, basis. You know, there's still plenty of uh, movement overall, even within that range bound. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this chart then, shall we? So I'll just zoom back in a little bit. And let's bring up a what I'm going to bring up is a an MT4 chart and that MT4 chart here uh, as you can see here is a um, is a, a chart of euro dollar with a, an overlay down the bottom window here of um, this it shows the FXCM speculative sentiment index. Okay, so the speculative sentiment index was one of the first um, retail trader sentiment indexes that was that was made available. And FXCM are a huge broker, so they have a lot of data on what traders their traders are doing. So when the histograms are red, then traders are shorting the market. When they're blue, then they're net long. So sorry, I better take this back. Net short or net long. Now, so that's overall, okay? It doesn't mean to say everyone's long or everyone's short, of course. It just means that there's a larger number of traders who are short, okay? So on net, more people are short at this point than, than are long. So let's go and have a look at this. So during this phase here, the euro overall, just this last few weeks, as I've said, has been going up. Uh, what have retail traders been doing? Going down. What I like about this chart, it's, it gives you that visual representation. I've been using this one for years, and I'm going to show you some little tricks with using it. And I'm going to show you where you can get it as well and download it. Uh, through now th what was interesting um, down here so we'll, we'll start off down here so as price just starts going down here they switch from being short to net long at that point so it doesn't mean say like I've already said not everyone's uh, <laughs> uh, net long but um, but a greater percentage as price is coming down traders go net long um, through this phase here, as as the price starts going up, what do they do? They start getting short. In this phase here, as price is coming down, they go net long. So the point is that retail traders do the opposite of what uh, the market is doing. So that's on average. Now, like I've said, there's lots of very technical retail traders who are absolutely fine. Like for example, down here, this was the right time to be a buyer, of course. But that's not my point. My point is that just the masses will just buy just because the market's coming down and they're trying to find a reversal. That's all they're trying to do, always, like down here. As soon as it starts coming down, they're trying to buy it. And if, if they were genuine, if they were genuine as traders, when they're getting long down here, why would they immediate, immediately switch to getting short as price starts coming up? They would be building their longs or holding on to them at least and this would be continuing blue bars here as the euro is going up. So that's not what they do. As they're doing the exact opposite of what the market's doing because they're constantly trying, thinking, oh, the market's gone up a bit. It can't go any higher. I better short it. And that is the level of mentality that you get out there globally in the retail trading community. So, of course, 
uh, that low there, as we can see, was a good time to buy, be a buyer. And a technical trader may have a technical reason for buying down there. Absolutely great. Um, that's not my, my point. And so I think you have to be careful as well of thinking, oh God, um, retail have gone net long, so I can't possibly buy. Well, you can, because very quickly, <laughs> they'll come out of their longs anyway. And so don't think, oh, oh if, I, if I have to be on the opposite side of retail, because there are times where there's a valid buy zone, technically, that you might be using. And if the price has been coming down, then by default, retail traders you know, will um, be getting long. Now, some of you are saying, well, hold on a second, Charlie. Uh, look at this period here. So the euro was declining here and yet they were net short so they were right so to speak right okay <laughs> yes that, that's true but what you have to do is find the contact they weren't right by the way there's a couple of things to note one is that as price was coming down you can see that overall their positioning was starting to shrink and bear in mind, this is a very choppy downwards phase anyway. So it wasn't a, 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 diff, you know, a, a strong downwards trend. Uh, it was just a, a patchy downwards trend, really. But so, and again, if through this, surely they would be holding on to their longs or maybe even more of them getting long. That wasn't the case. The other thing is the context here. So what actually happened is they got massively long back through, sorry, short here, through this wonderful, you know, two week advance. So they were shorting that, of course, they're going to do the opposite, aren't they? Um, and so sometimes it can take some time as the market starts coming down to unwind the amount of net short positions they've got. They're all underwater, they're holding on, hoping it's going to come down, a lot of them so that they can get out of their short positions at, at break even. We can see that they, they were net short from the early phase back down here. So all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, they, they are ridiculous. Yep, that's human emotions for you. And this is why we talk about psychology of trading a lot um, because of what retail traders do. So a chart like this just tells us over and over again this the nature of retail. There are times when the market gets choppy and retail positioning will get choppy along with that, like this phase down here. Um, but as you can see, prior to that, again, we've got this similar uh, point here that when the euro had this lovely, very, very strong run up here, what were they doing? Increasing their short positions. Now, don't and you have to be careful not to think, well, they were right because it rolled over. No, they were they were already short through from back down here on net, so they were sh net short from way back down here. Um, then the market consolidated for a while. Then, as it went up, they they increased their shorts. They weren't right. All that will happen, as we can see in the data, all that will happen is that as soon as the market starts coming down, they start jumping out of their shorts as they start getting closer to break even or whatever. And in through here, for this entire decline, yeah, they're, they're, they're reducing their shorts to the point where they're going net long and then going underwater through all of this. <laughs> so I think you get my point here. It's a really good visual using um, an indicator like this. You can for free just get obviously um, retail positioning sentiment, of course, on the internet. But this one just gives you a nice uh, chart. So I'll show you how to get that in a second. Uh, one other point of note here is that there are there are points when it's almost like everybody's in, like up here. There's this peak here um, in the, the number of retail uh, short positions. And of course, there's going to be a point when a market is going to roll over. It's not that they're right. It's just they've reached maximum saturation and maximum pain. And it so often uh, accompanies uh, some form of reversal. And on this, it's actually at minus three. Okay, minus three or plus three. It doesn't mean that it's immediately going to turn. 
but it's a warning sign when you see when you see the amount of their shorts get to minus three or beyond um, or plus three or beyond as well historically so it doesn't it's not an immediate oh i've got to go and uh you know uh, buy or sell but it's a warning that uh, we may be getting a, a close to saturation and <laughs> saturation anyway so anyway i hope that that is useful to you i'm just going to bring up and I'm, I'm not well i am plugging this but i've used that this that data for years but you, if you want it if you use mt4 go to fxengineer.com click on metatrader 4 and then scroll down they they just have uh, scripts or whatever you call them uh, programs for various you know, whatever on there but I'm only interested in the F uh, FXCM SSI. So if you click on the FXM SSI, uh, there you go. It's $99. It's always been $99 on here. Uh, basically, you download it. It's a one-off fee. You download it onto your computer, and then you can upload it into your MT4. Simple as that. So um, there you go. A little bit of a different video for you uh, today. Um, if you don't want if you don't use MT4 or whatever, it doesn't matter, then hopefully you found this interesting anyway with regards to what retail traders do.